Hannah and I'm one of the trainers at Mind Apples. And here at Mind Apples, we've been hearing a lot of people talking recently about how the current situation is challenging their mental health and can we give them some more information about it. So I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes just talking about what we can do that's good for our mental health levels. And before I get into that, I thought it'd be useful just to have a quick recap in terms of how our brains evolved and also what are, the some, what are some of the things that are going on right now that might be affecting them. So first of all, how have our brains evolved? Um, we have the, uh, the reptilian, the primitive part of our brains um, right at the very back here. And this is the part of the brain that looks after um, our blood pressure, hunger, digestion, heart rate, breathing, basic um, essential functions um, that we can't live without. We then have the emotional part of our brain um, in the center of our brains. And this is the bit that we use um, for our emotional responses. It's the pleasure, it's the reward, it's the motivation, it's the behavioral responses. Um, you know, are we feeling happy? Are we feeling sad? And then we have the third part of our brain, which is the, the complex rational part of our brain, which separates us from all the other animals um, on the planet. This is the part of our brain that we use for abstract thinking, for planning ahead and organizing, decision making, um, analysis, complex problem solving, all of those sort of very high powered things that we need our brains for. So even though all three parts of our brain are separate and they have a very different purpose, they are all interconnected. So for example, if our primitive brain, for example, wanted cake, um, our emotional part of our brain might respond going, yeah, you know, cake makes, makes me feel happy, you know, let's, let's bring on the cake. And then our rational part of our brain sort of, you know, steps in and says, oh, you know, hang on a minute, you know, cake's, cake's a bit fattening, you know, you're supposed to be on a diet and going to the gym later. And then your primitive brain is like, yeah, but you know, still hunger, really want something to eat. And your emotional brain then sort of bargains with you and says, well, you know, it's sort of, you know, I've deserved it. You know, I've been working hard, you know, I deserve to, to treat myself. And then your rational brain sort of, you know, steps in and goes, well, okay, you know, if you have cake now, we will definitely be going out for a walk later. So it's really complicated being humans. Added on to the fact that we don't only have our conscious brains that we use on a daily basis, but there's a huge powerful part of our brain, which is this subconscious bit. The, the, the part of our brain that is doing all the other stuff, you know, handling all of our sort of, you know, our breathing, body temperatures, um, sort of, you know, body clocks and, you know, everything like that. So our rational part of our brain can get on with the more sort of, you know, complex um, decisions that we need to make and the important stuff that we need to focus on, um, such as cake, obviously. So we need to take care of our brains. And in order to do so, we need to know what affects them. Some of the typical things, and again, these are going to vary from person to person, um, but an interrupted, um, sorry, unexpected um, interruptions and distractions, you know, so those unexpected noises um, can distract our, um, our brains and affect our mental energies. Sleep is an important one as well, so we need um, a good night's sleep in order to recharge and wake up refreshed the next day. Light is really important for our for our mental energies and for our mental health. So we need good levels of natural sunlight. It can help with our circadian rhythms and body clocks, and also to avoid too much blue, uh, blue light, particularly from screens later on at night, um, which aren't so good for us. Um, other people around us, you know, so having positive supporting relationships can really help us, but also our own um, physical state, you know, if we're in pain or if we're ill at all, that can also have an effect on our mental health. So what can we do to improve our mental health and well-being? So the um, key thing is to notice what affects you most of all, because we're all you know, totally different, so different things will affect different people. But we always like to ask people, what are their five mind apples? What are the five things that they do on a regular basis that's good for their mental health, that they enjoy and that's good for them? In addition to that, there was some research by the New Economics Foundation that found um, or identified that there are sort of five key ways to well-being. These five ways to well-being are, first of all, connections, so having good connections with family, friends, colleagues. Two is being active, you know, this is within your health, fitness and ability levels, but doing something which is um, relatively good uh, physical exercise for you. Three is taking notice, so it doesn't have to be a sort of full 
meditation session it can just be pausing to notice the quirks the humors the you know the change in the children as they're growing up or the change in the seasons uh, fourthly keeping learning you know so our brains like to be mentally challenged you know we like to learn new things and then finally the fifth one is giving um, and i think that's probably why there's been so much amazing voluntary work um, people supporting each other and looking out for the people during these times and with all this stuff, it's knowing and noticing what works for you. you know, so what works best for you for your mental health and energies. I hope this short video clip has been helpful in some way. Please keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're getting on. Share your top tips, what works for you. And we've got loads more videos and information to share with you. So keep checking back in with us. And in the meantime, take care. Mm -hmm.